Pelicans have finally reached an agreement to complete the Nico Miritich trade. The Bulls will get a protected first round pick from New Orleans along with Omer Ashik. The Bulls also waived Quincy Pondexter and plan to do the same with the newly acquired Tony Allen. All the players have an electronic medical record. So when a transaction like this happens, we're in contact with, in this case, the Pelicans athletic training staff and their doctors and we provide grant access for them to review Nico's file and then we're granted permission to check their players files and review their medical histories and injury histories. The players will come in for their trade physical and then after that's completed and, and signed off on then we notify the teams who notify the league and the trade can move forward. What up? How we doing, O? Welcome back. <laughs> good, good. Are you all excited to come back too? Chris Dunn and Laurie Markkinen have been named to the Rising Stars game at the NBA All-Star Weekend. All-Star Weekend, uh, me and Lowry going to hold it down for the Bulls. Where's the Bulls jersey? Oh, there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2018 Mountain Dew Kickstart Rising Stars. Playing in his first season with the Chicago Bulls and born in Finland, Lowry Markkinen. From the Chicago Bulls, Chris Dunn. Yeah, Chris. Markin, and here's who Chris was just talking about from Finland. What a nice stroke. And right on cue. I agree with you. And, and that team with Chris Dunn as he finished on cue as well. <laughs> Fans out there get to know this man's game. The future of Chicago is bright with this young player. I wanted to get Chris on the putback dunk, though. I don't, I don't know if he hit the ball or not. Oh, but. yeah, yeah. He tried to on me, man. <laughs> the fastest player ever in the yes. NBA to reach 108 yeah. threes is one Laurie Markkinen. I love his game. He spaces the floor, and again, I know the dunk contest is a little bit later, but he will dunk on you inside the paint. <laughs> so skilled and balanced in his game. They call him the finisher, Laurie Markkinen. Come on, Laurie. Don't okay, let me down. Okay, Laurie, you can knock down that three. That's 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 Shoot a half quarter. Embiid and Markkinen. I knew it. I knew it. It was so much fun to go against those guys, and we had a good time. Well, tonight is the return of Zach Levine and Chris Dunn in Minnesota. So last couple weeks, how has life been different being the number one scoring option? Um, you need to take a lot more responsibility. Uh, you know, you got to pick your spots. You got to figure out when, when in, you know, to get your teammates involved and when to, you know, try to assert yourself, you know, later in the game or in quarters and stuff like that. So. Um, I think it's just more just picking your spots. Chicago, they helped me with my confidence, playing with a little more swag. Um, you know, I got good teammates. Uh, I think the system fits better for me, so, you know, it's a little bit of everything. Well, we got a lot of great talent, you know, just trying to be able to find the chemistry with, uh, you know, the talent that we have and, you know, try to work off with it. I want a rematch. Well, rematch, I don't know. Thank you so much for this. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. David Nwaba to the ring, and the right-handed dunk on Bielitsa. Back to the nice. CO from Levine. Nice, Zach Levine playing point guard now. Yeah, he's done. Oh, nice. One in. 
Some good patience by KD that time. Minnesota by three. Levine splits the double. Levine oh, yeah, to the rim, floats it up. On the run, Levine. Oh, oh nice. And Minnesota will win this ball game. They split the season series. Early in the games, fellas, I don't know what we're doing in our warm-up, but we're getting off to sluggish start. But our defensive intensity and grit out of the gate, fellas, is nothing. It's non-existent right now. David, this is an excellent random flare. Okay, you're going to get Lowry open. All right, you screw up the defense, okay? But just by being committed to running, fellas, flattening out that floor is, is what created that basket. Zach, when you're committed to running, we're getting anything we want down there. So we're gonna get our uh, walkthrough out of the way uh, against Brooklyn today, okay? We're gonna go through some script. We're gonna get you guys out of here, get you off your feet. Uh, great opportunity here, guys, to get these last two in this road trip, okay? All right, here we go. Everybody in touch. How are you doing this morning? I'm great, how are you? Great. <laughs> Mornings are always great. All of you like coming to New York? Anything any special? Favorite, any favorite movies? I love of being, your... spending time in the traffic. And being in the hotel room. So, New York is great. New York, Charlotte, Detroit, it's all the same for you. No, New York is more traffic. the little drills we do every day of the season, we're not carrying that over into the game. I've got 23 games left. Let's, again, set the goal of the pace and the offense. It's about standards, and our standards are consistent. From pickup point to competitiveness and transition to full court shell, we got to raise our standards as a group. The, the big fans up these say, why? Because they have our eyes and ears. They see everything. God say what? To the back to everything. So the good thing is, you big guys communicate, the better chance you got to get. You can't say about in here, you can't say about in the game. That's the simple truth. You can't say about in here, you can't say in the game. Come on, make that open our voice. Gotta get loud. Pick coming. Fist up. Show. Under. Side market at three. Bam! The flying fin. Don lines to the lane. To the rack with a right handed layup. Here's Portis on the pump. Portis on the drive. Portis to the rack. Rimming good. Count it. Valentine open right side three. A long second half for the Chicago Bulls as the Nets end an eight game slide and beat the Bulls. The way we load the plane in New York, equipment on one side, personals on the other, so then when they come off the plane here, equipment is in the back of the truck, and uh, personals are here so that when we get to the hotel, the personal bags are off first. The buses are on their way to the hotel. We'll try to catch up to them on the road. through and tag all the bags with the players' rooms using room lists so that they can get sent up to their rooms right away by the bellman at the hotel. We have our bags that the uniforms and gear is in, and then we have the athletic training stuff like their training tables and all their uh, strength and conditioning staff that packs a bunch of bags, things for the players to like stretch out and their supplements, stuff like that. So we keep it all separated. I'm separating the bags because we wore white uniforms tonight. And tomorrow night we're wearing black. So when we go to the arena to set up, I have the black uniforms here and then 
all the rest of the equipment bags. The black uniforms are clean because we haven't worn them yet this trip, but the white uniforms are dirty and they're in a bag. Charlotte will come in the morning and pick those up and wash them for us so they don't sit dirty for two days. Other teams, when they come to, to, to us, if they come in dirty, we help them out, they help us out. It's just the way the league works. 105 Central, 205 Eastern, not bad. helps on your balance, ankle stability, um, try to just keep you injury free, injury prevention. Getting back. There's different ways to do manual therapy. This kind of helps aid in that as well. That's called the Raptor, Hyper Ice. And a lot of guys kind of just like feel that as a vibration, just kind of get the tissues going. We got in about two last night, so uh, you know it's going to be uh, uh, really a mental day for our players. We don't go over to the arena uh, for a typical walkthrough, what we would do when you have a day in between. Coaches get together early, put together the edits, the plans, uh, you know, as far as what we need to watch, what we need to clean up. We're taping a court down so that we can do a walkthrough this morning, walk over some of Charlotte's plays. We'll watch film for like maybe 10, 15 minutes, and then we'll come over and walk through a couple of their plays. So we got like another 15 minutes, and then we get them out, get them back off their feet so they'll be fresh for the game tonight. This team is rolling right now. We've got to come out, we've got to hit them in the mouth first year, guys. We cannot allow them to come out here and throw the first punch and get us on our heels. Right from the beginning, it's happening right now too much. This is a competitive part of it. It's not just, sometimes we say drop, I think guys relax a little. This is a competitive thing. So as he's coming at you, you're keeping them both. Your nose is on the ball. You're not letting him go. Yeah, now you're going. And if it's regular through, you set it. Jump pass to Margaret. Margaret circle left to Felicio on a spin on Kaminsky, and the banker is good. Right side three with big splash. <laughs> I got up this morning, I set the alarm for 9 30, and I was like, I'm gonna shave this morning. And then I sat in my bed doing nothing. <laughs>